Hi, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm a technical writer for Active Directory Rights Management Services. This is the third and final installment in my series on ADRMS with ADFS Identity Federation support. Previously, we installed and configured ADFS in the CPNDEL and Tray Engineering Forests, and configured the ADRMS server to work with ADFS. Here, we will configure the account partner client machine and verify ADRMS and ADFS functionality by sharing a protected Microsoft Word document. I'm going to log on to the Tray Research client computer as Terence Phillip, a user in the Tray Research domain. I need to add the ADRMS cluster URL, the ADFS-resource URL, and the ADFS-account URL to the Internet Explorer Local Internet Security Zone before I can publish or consume rights-protected content. I'll add each of the URLs here. In a production environment, you would probably perform this task using group policy. Also, in a production environment, the ADFS resource URL and the ADRMS cluster URL would actually be added to the trusted site zone. The other requirement to configure a client machine in the account partner domain is to create a couple of registry keys, which are covered in Step 2 of the ADRMS with ADFS Identity Federation Support Step-by-Step -step Guide. Now I'll log on to the CPNDEL client as Nicole Holliday, a user in the CPNDEL domain. I'm going to open up Microsoft Word and I'm going to protect a new document. I'll give read-only permissions to Terence Phillip by typing tphillip at trayresearch.net in the read field and then clicking OK. Notice the restricted access banner that appears. Now I'm going to save the document in a shared folder located on the ADRMS database server. Now let's head back to the Tray Research Client Machine and try to open this document as Terence. I'll log back on to the Tray Research Client Machine as Terence. I'm going to open up Microsoft Word, and then I'm going to open the document that I had saved previously. Notice in the dialog box that Microsoft Office is connecting to the CPNDEL ADRMS server to verify Terence's credentials. The document opens and Terence can read the content. I'll click the Office button and notice that the Save, Save As, and Print options are all unavailable. Notice here that Terence cannot copy or paste the content. I'll quickly click through the tabs to show you that these options are also unavailable. And there you have it. Terence has successfully opened an ADRMS protected document using ADFS. I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.